Audio check one, two, three. Now switch. Get it right. I'll switch it. Transition me. There it goes. Hey guys, AJ Town here, live with the T Storm Chasers. We're currently watching the severe thunderstorm warning that is making a northeasterly direction. We're starting to see some circulation on the uh, east side of this cell, which is right there by that White River area that we are seeing with this system as well. This is going to continue to progress its way northeastward. Now, it is a severe thunderstorm warning that we are watching uh, very, very closely with that as well. And uh, we are seeing things really starting to wrap around. You can see the wrapping of this right in this area here uh, that is going to be some concern over the course of the next few minutes here as we are starting to see that uh, as we just switch to our velocity there. Uh, we can see it is starting to pick up some of the rotation within that cell as well. Uh, so definitely going to see some of that chance of a possible spin up. Um, according to the severe thunderstorm warning uh, that we are looking at, they are saying um, as well that there is a possibility of a tornado in that severe thunderstorm warning as well. However, it is not a confirmed tornado that is on the ground. Again, you can see right here above us, a severe thunderstorm warning is issued. Uh, it does look like it expires at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, so we still do have quite a bit of time left on this uh, cell as well. Uh, it is now, what, 9.30? So we, we have about another half hour on the cell uh, that is continuously growing some strength. Uh, let's take a quick look here. Riley, if you want to zoom out. Go ahead and zoom out and give me that Niobrara area cell here. As you do, as he is continuing to zoom out here and looking at that, this is where we're starting to see some of the development just south of the Nebraska area here. Um, we are working on getting that uh, radar up. Um, give us just a quick second on that one. Uh, we are starting to see some development down in that Nebraska area as well right about in here is where we are seeing that development uh, once we do get that up it is taking them just a quick hot second here to get that up there we go, there we go. now as you can see there are cells that are starting to develop that are moving across the south dakota border over the course of the next few um, hours here this will continue to progress its way in a northeasterly north northeasterly direction uh, this will actually start forming a line as well. It'll start up here and move its way to the southeast as well and form a line uh, with that system as it does continue to move in a north northeasterly direction uh, with that as well. Uh, so we are going to continue uh, to see that progression. You can see right here, uh, Riley is putting up a quick uh, zoom out just a little bit maybe. There you go. As uh, Riley did put that, you can see that it is looking right around the Santee area, about that 9.30 time frame. Again, right about that Springfield, um, about that 9.37. Wagner, about 9.45. Uh, Tyndall, about 9.49. Uh, so you can see that that cell is going to be moving in that north direction where we are going to be seeing some of those chances of watching these fairly closely of possible development. 
Uh, right now, we do have Riley and Nick in the studio that is going to be uh, continuing to monitor this system as well. Uh, Riley is going to be uh, discussing with you here momentarily uh, what we are watching over the course of the next couple hours. <laughs> Excuse me. We are going to see that development continue as we go into the overnight hours, and uh, we do still carry that severe weather risk coming into those overnight hours. So we something we are going to have to watch fairly closely in the next couple hours is these these cells that are going to start forming in the Nebraska and moving into the Dakota areas over the course, again, of the next couple hours. I know I keep repeating that, but a lot of you are going to bed. Be sure to have a plan in place because uh, these cells are, are going to be a quick spin up where we're going to see them possibly produce that damaging wind, hail. Um, an isolated tornado is going to be mostly in that southeastern portions of the South Dakota. <coughs> Excuse me. Southeastern portions of South Dakota. As we take a quick look at the severe alert there, um, now that is the Storm Prediction Center. You can see that we are now the orange is going to be a three out of five, which does kind of just break that South Dakota and Nebraska border. Um, and then as we do move up, and um, you can see that that area in yellow, just south of that Sioux Falls area, is going to be looking at a two out of five of seeing some severe weather. Now the Sioux Falls area is in that one out of five. If you could slide me just a little other way. There we go. Sioux Falls area, you can see, just south of us here, we are in that two out of five air risk area, and it's not far south. It is literally miles uh, south of the Sioux Falls area is what we are watching fairly closely there. So this area is a one out of five um, in that, uh, can you give me the two or the uh, tornado risk coming in to tonight? So as you can see, that tornado risk does push into the Yankton area, does go up into the Minnow area there, um, and does uh, go basically just right through that I-29, just south of the Beersford area of that 2% risk. I know many of you are sitting there like, dude, this is only 2% risk. I have a good chance of winning the lottery. No, actually, the 2% risk that we are kind of uh, speaking about here is a uh, the night of the twisters for the Sioux Falls area. Sioux Falls was under that 2% risk. So just kind of keep that in the back of your mind as we go into the course of the next couple hours here that we are going to see that chance of having a tornado spin up uh, down along that South Dakota Nebraska border. Riley's going to take things over. I'm going to turn it over to him now. Yeah, sure. Oh. Hold on. So this is kind of continuing what he was saying here. So the areas in yellow here in western and southern South Dakota is where we have a severe thunderstorm watch, which is in effect here until 10 p.m. Mountain Time. Um, and and you go into Nebraska here, and there's in north central Nebraska we ha we have that severe thunderstorm watch, which is in effect as well. Uh, includes North Platte, uh, Valentine, Mullen areas. And then you go farther south into southern Nebraska, into Kansas and Oklahoma. Um, we have a tornado watch, which is in effect until 3 a.m. Now these counties here you see in Nebraska, that includes Kearney, Grand Island, Lexington areas, Hastings. Uh, this area in Nebraska is part of our coverage area, um, so we will be uh, keeping a close eye on things down here and uh, bringing you the latest there. Uh, but we do have a tornado watch until 3 a.m. for those areas down in southern Nebraska. Now for the, the rest of the region, near O'Neill, down to Lincoln, over to Omaha, Sioux City, Yankton areas, we have that tornado risk, and there is discussions out there about a uh, watch being issued for these areas um, within the next hour as uh, we're trying to get 
closer development um, towards the Sioux Falls area. And as you can see, there is a 10% tornado risk uh, hatched area that continues. Uh, that's going to continue for the next several hours um, for these areas here in central Nebraska as they're still anticipating tornadic development here in Nebraska here over the next few hours. Um, and again, as he was mentioning, for the Sioux Falls area, uh, just southwest of Sioux Falls, includes uh, communities in South Dakota, Gregory, Platt, Armour, Wagner, Tyndall, Scotland, Yankton, Vermilion, Elk Point areas in South Dakota. In southeastern South Dakota there is where we got the tornado risk that will continue overnight. Um, we anticipate, I want to bring up a model run here so we can show everybody when these storms are supposed to develop and when they're supposed to come into the area. Uh, let me go ahead and do that here. A lot of things on the screen here. Okay, there we go. Now let's get this model run here. Reflectivity. All right. So as you can see here, this is 11 o'clock, and you can see we got some activity here in uh, out in western South Dakota. There's that activity there. That's going to continue to move its way north, and then we have some more activity here down in north central Nebraska, and then that will move north. Also have some activity from Omaha down to Kansas City. But the, the development we're going to be watching and keeping a very close eye on is this right here. Um, from Platte down to northeastern Nebraska, Plainview, Wayne, Nebraska. This whole area we are going to be monitoring very carefully. We already have some initial development. Um, but you can see there, that is a look there. And we do have some this model run that's showing um, development over the next hour. Let me go ahead and run this out here. This is midnight, still showing that activity across southeastern South Dakota. And again, this is what we're going to have to be keeping very close eye on. There also will be some strong thunderstorms here in central and western South Dakota still, as well as down here by Valentine, Nebraska. Uh, maybe a Boeing segment there. Uh, according to the model runs. Also here down in Nebraska, near Lexington, also down over towards Omaha and Lincoln, some more thunderstorm activity. So really just a whole bunch of different clusters of thunderstorms looks to be um, the future outlook according to the models. So, and again, right there and intensifies over Norfolk, over to Bloomfield, over to Omaha. Sioux City areas. Uh, we're definitely going to have to keep a close eye on that. That's one in the morning. And we're going to continue to watch that as you see that right there. It really starts to fill in across that Sioux Falls area at around 2 a.m. Uh, that's, I think, when we are going to anticipate some stronger thunderstorms pushing through the Sioux Falls area probably around 2 a.m. Uh, and out west, Again, we'll have more activity towards Phillip, Eagle Butte areas, and then we'll also have storms from Presho down to Winter, down to Valentine. So that is the latest there. And then 3 a.m., it really fills in. We got thunderstorms everywhere here across southeastern South Dakota into Nebraska and northwest Iowa. And right there, it continues overnight um, with those thunderstorms. So not a whole lot of severe weather overnight more than likely but it's more or less just um, thunderstorm activity with a lot of heavy rain and possible flash flooding issues that we might have to uh, deal with overnight so um, that's a look there at the model runs I do want to run this out tomorrow as well because tomorrow there is also a risk of severe weather and I do want to bring that up here for you if I can here there we go so let me turn the models off here and show you real quick. So right here we have a marginal risk of severe weather for southeastern South Dakota. It does include Mitchell, Sioux Falls, Yankton, Sioux City, parts of northeastern Nebraska into Iowa where we do have a slight risk that does include Sioux Rapids, Storm Lake, and then we have an enhanced risk over Des Moines 
into central and southeastern Iowa. And that's an area we're definitely going to have to keep a very close eye on tomorrow is that uh, the entire state of Iowa is in the T Storm Chasers coverage area. So we will be monitoring that situation very closely. And uh, we, we will have uh, some staff on hand here as well for tomorrow. So I just wanted to show you that. Let me go ahead and bring up the model run for tomorrow with those thunderstorm activity. We got 1 p.m. There it is. We got more activity towards Sioux Falls. And then your main event is in Iowa here, central Iowa. And then we run this out afternoon. More or less, looks like it's going to be kind of a broken line of broken line cluster of severe weather tomorrow across Iowa. And then that'll push off towards the east. And um, then things will calm down, I think, after uh, Tuesday night. So just got to get through tonight and tomorrow, and uh, things will calm down. And uh, we'll get back to some cooler weather. I do want to mention that, that uh, after these next couple days, the temps will be a lot cooler. We'll have uh, windier and cooler weather. Um, but let's go back here to the radar. I do want to bring everybody in here. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're looking at here for um, the next couple of days. So going back to the radar picture here, let me do this. Um, let me see if we can get a live radar here. Um, basically, we still have this activity down by Wagner and Tyndall. You can see right there. And this will continue to move to the north. Uh, let's do a, put a loop on this here. This was in Nebraska, and now it has moved into South Dakota. I'll see if I can get a live radar loop here. trying to fix the radar picture here for you. And I muted you. All right, so we fixed the radar picture. Let's go ahead and show a view of this thunderstorm that we've been keeping an eye on here in um, Millette County near White River. Let's see if it'll pop up here. All right, so pulling up the Rapid City radar here, I do want to focus on western and central South Dakota right now. We do have the activity. We got we got some thunderstorms. Let me see here. Uh, let's see here. I want to pull up the lightning here. Because we have a lot of lightning across these uh, areas with the storms. WSP3. All right, so southeast of Rapid City here, uh, New Underwood down towards uh, Fairburn and uh, southeast. 
this area a lot of uh, just thunderstorm activity with uh, possibly some small hail as you can see those areas kind of in purple or we might have some smaller hail uh, also a cell here in between uh, wasta and wall there and then uh, also another storm here over Phillip and Kadoka. And then we move here towards White River. This cell we've been keeping a very close eye on for a while now as it still shows tornado possible on this. So we need to uh, keep a very close eye on this for people that live down here just west of White River. Um, so again, this one is moving north at about 35 miles per hour um, with one inch hail, 60 mile an hour winds. And uh, again, with that possible tornado on this and as you can see right there just west of white river is the area that we're looking at here um, with the uh, reds going away from the radar and greens going towards the radar there and right there might have some rotation right there just west of white river so um, we need to keep it a close eye on that and um, there's a little uh, spinning circle there on the radar to kind of indicate that uh, rotation. But yeah, we're going to have to uh, just monitor the situation, continue to keep an eye on things. And pan over here towards um, just northeast of Gregory. There's a cell right there that we're going to keep an eye on. And then also just west of Wagner. Um, another cell we're going to keep an eye on is down here just west of Springfield as um, we are gonna continue to watch things. This one might even be starting to spin up a little bit. Um, there's, you, you can see there might be a little bit of circulation just west of Springfield, just north of Vertle. Uh, Nick, you see that um, right there. Maybe got a little bit of some rotation maybe starting to form here. But we're gonna we're gonna keep a very close eye on that. Um, I do want to bring this over. Um, here's another look at things here. Um, let's see here. Right there, transition here. Uh, here's another view of things. Um, but yeah, uh, the severe thunderstorm warning continues here for Millette County until uh, 10 there and then uh, we're going to continue to monitor this right here um, we got just northeast of Gregory just uh, right over Pickstown and then just west of Springfield those are the main cells that we're going to be keeping a close eye on because uh, those could uh, spin something up so there's also a little bit of, of some cells maybe popping up here in Nebraska too so I also do want to pan down to the Omaha region let me see if we can Yeah, so this one might be starting to spin up a little bit, um, but we'll keep a very close eye on things as always here. A lot of lightning associated with all these storms as well. So uh, I'm going to do one more track here, a little storm track. Let me see here. This one in particular, as it moves north. So Avon area here in about 10 minutes or less here. And then we got uh, Dante Corner at about 10.07. Uh, then if it keeps going and, and keeps uh, moving north, uh, eventually we'll impact Trip at about 10.42, Delmont area at about 10.48. So uh, I do want to do this one as well. But that is the, a little bit of a stronger cell that we're going to have to continue to uh, keep a close eye on there. Um, let's see here. go and this one here over Lake Andes uh, maybe impacting the armor area at about 1040 so that is about it um, there's not a whole lot of other activity going on other than that one severe thunderstorm again just west of White, White River that we're going to continue to keep a close eye on um, but 
other than that, we got, again, those thunderstorms out west impacting western South Dakota. And we're going to keep a close eye on these as well. Um, but as of right now, there's only one severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, and it's in South Dakota. And again, one inch hail, 60 mile an hour winds. We're going to keep a close eye on things there. But again, um, into Nebraska, we anticipate some meaner thunderstorms developing within the next hour or two. And those things are going to, in fact, right there, we have some more activity developing just west of Mullen, Nebraska, and those are going to move north as well. And then also towards Omaha, we do have some activity as well. And that is going to continue to move north. And there it is. So just some activity as well as some thunderstorms. And then we got that one severe thunderstorm there in Millette County that will expire here in a few minutes. So, again, we are going to keep a very close eye on things here in the studio. We will be back on, and we will continue to update you guys um, as, as needed. And um, more than likely, we'll be back on here shortly. But uh, for now, we're going to uh, regather some things, try to uh, figure out the next uh, steps here and what we're going to do in terms of uh, tracking these storms and uh, getting the latest information out to everybody. So... Um, that's an update here from T Storm Chasers. Again, continue to follow us on all of our socials, and uh, we'll continue to provide updates as we get them. Um, so, thank you guys for watching.